boys and girls, we're here with clean up Claire in the art room. And Claire kind of made a mess on her table. So Claire's gonna make sure she cleans it up the right way. Claire's gonna head over to the sink and wash her brush out. And the way you wash your brush is to turn the water on, not too high. And notice how Claire is using her fingers to really get that mess out of the bristles. Wow, that's a dirty brush. Claire's making sure that it's nice and clean by running it under the water and using both hands to clean it out. She puts it away and makes sure that the bristles are sticking out. Claire's returned to the table now and she's getting her paint set, which she's closing up and carrying and putting it away. Now it's time to get a sponge out of the bucket. Claire goes to the closest bucket to her table. She squeezes it out with two hands really low in the bucket so that she's not getting the water all over the floor. Nice job squeezing that out, Claire. You're using Superman hands. Claire's gonna take that sponge and she's just gonna wipe up her area. The rest of her table is clean, so there's really no reason for Claire to wash the whole table. If the paint doesn't seem to come off the first time you wipe it up, Claire can return to the bucket and go get a second dip in the water and again she's going to go low in that bucket really rinse off that black paint inside that water and then she's going to squeeze it out all the way and she's going to come back and wipe up the rest of that table to make sure that she leaves it clean for the next group she's not leaving it too wet because she wants the next class to be able to come in and sit down and work on a dry table. When Claire's done cleaning up her area, she's gonna put the sponge back in the bucket. Great job, Claire. Remember nice job cleaning up. Remember to wash your hands. Oh, good job, remember to wash your hands after you clean up.